Now I um, I recorded the first part of this video quite some time ago, but I have not, not actually managed to get around to actually putting the stuff on the car or buying the stuff. But now we can finally do it. So see if you can notice which part of this video I recorded six years ago. But um, yeah, let's crack on. See the well visors came out okay on, on this Fiesta that we already did. But as you can see down here, the uh, 3M tape has kind of come away. It's actually not come away from, it's actually, if you can see it, it's still here on the car, but it's not all longer attached to the visors. So we're gonna go for the ones that um, go into the, into the inside of the gutter instead. So that's what we're gonna fit on the ST. Oh, here they are, front and rear wind deflectors. Let's get them in the car. As you see, they go in the channel. It's a little bit of 3M tape that holds them in, but they're not stuck to the outside, so they shouldn't fall off like the other ones. So what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna um, wind down the windows, clean up the inside of the channel a bit with a baby wipe, and then um, take, rip off this, uh, the cover off the tape here, stick it in the windows, wind the windows back up, and that's as all there is to it the plastic and the rubber where the window would go, just run it along, make sure there's no muck in there that's gonna stop the 3M tape from material because there's lots of muck in there. All right, so what it says we do is it says you stick the front end into the window first, then you do the back end and then you kind of bow it out to force it in along the edge. So this is what we're gonna try and do. I think we'll have more bowing out to do when we do the front ones, which come all the way down. The back one should just be, take the tape off, put the front in, put the back end, and then just stick it up. So that's what we'll have a go at doing. All right, that's the first one installed. It says you, you, we stuck it in there, we pushed it up, we pulled it out a little bit like this, so it was a tease, and then we just uh, said to slowly wind the window up. So that one's done, and we'll move on to the next one. Now, the, uh, the front ones are a little bit more difficult. So like I said, you kind of put one end in first, you bow it out like this, so you can put my hand through to get the other end in, and then you just kind of work it into the channel, which is what I'm going to do now. And here we are. This is the finished result. So here's the front ones. I start down here by a wing mirror, and they go up. Means you can crack that window down, get some ventilation, the same at the back. These are pretty cool. So there's your front one. Now people might have, some people have complained about the fact that when the window is down in the back, you, yeah, some people have complained about when you have the window down in the back, you get this little gap here, but I mean, that's just the nature of the car window. So they can't really complain about this. But yeah, I, they do a great, they do it. They've do, do, done a good job on cars I've had before. As these are the, are the WeatherTech ones, they go straight into the channel, which means they're not going to get buffeted by the weather and they're not going to fall straight off. In fact, the front ones actually just pushed in and it's only the back ones that have the uh, adhesive. So there you go. But this is uh, another mod done. I think it's um, pretty cool.